Keep your heads up, family. Jesus is coming. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. What's up, fam? We're about to show you how close we are to the rapture. In the words of Jesus Christ. Right after we go through this, and you all already know all of this. It's the coronavirus. They're calling it a pandemic. It's spreading quickly. On the cover of the Drudge Report, it's saying Trump's going to declare national emergency. Complete shutdown. And at the very top, the CDC is saying it's a nightmare scenario. 1.7 million deaths. 150 million Americans could get infected. Six patients for every hospital bed. The stocks are crashing. Sick people being denied across the USA. Los Angeles closes schools. Mexico's about to restrict the border from the U.S. And right here on the New York Post, it says, NYC declares emergency over coronavirus. Broadway goes dark. No gatherings of more than 500 people. NBA, NHL, suspended. Baseball postponed. NCAA tourney canceled. So again, Trump to declare national emergency, complete shutdown is on the table. And it's not just happening in America. Right here on the Times of Israel, Israel closes schools, universities as Netanyahu issues dire coronavirus warning. And there's the airport, completely empty. On the Jerusalem Post it says, Israel at the forefront of coronavirus measures. And right here on the Times of Israel it's saying, at a center of global pandemic, Italy's Jews contemplate Passover under lockdown. A Passover lockdown, family. And right here it's saying, Catholics rail against Christ in quarantine, church closures in Rome. Catholics criticized a cardinal's order to close churches in Rome on Friday to help contain the spread of coronavirus. And right here it's saying, Prayers restricted across Middle East amid coronavirus fears. And when you scroll down, it says religious authorities across the Middle East have moved to cancel or limit weekly prayer gatherings to help prevent the spread of the new coronavirus. And this is gigantinormous, family. On breaking Israel news, it says, As coronavirus closes skies, Jews worldwide may miss last chance to return to Israel, as prophesied in Deuteronomy. This is it, family. Jesus Christ is coming, and these are the last warnings, and we'll prove it to you right now with his word. It's Luke chapter 17, Jesus Christ telling us what it will be like when he is revealed. Verse 26, and as it was in the days of Noe, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noe entered into the ark, and the flood came, and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed, Jesus Christ, the red words. And this is him, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he's saying that we will be eating and drinking and buying and selling and planting and building when he is revealed. And the reason why we're going over all of this and our point is Jesus Christ will come and get us and we'll be caught up before the whole world is quarantined, family. Praise Jesus. And remember, Corona means crown. So like Jesus Christ said, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And if you keep the word of his patience, he will keep you from the hour of temptation that will come across the whole world. And when you go to Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, it says, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. That we keep the commandments of God and our faith in Jesus Christ. And I'm not God, but the Word of God is God. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word is God, family. So if you want to be kept from the hour of temptation that will come across the whole world, the last seven-year tribulation, and the mark of the beast, 
The word is telling us to keep our faith in Jesus Christ and to follow his commandments. And when you go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 19, Jesus says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And I just got filled with the Holy Spirit through my whole body, family. This is the truth. This is Jesus Christ, the Word, God Almighty. And I still have the Holy Spirit all over me, family. He wants you to know His Word. It's the rock. Stand on it. It's our foundation. When the storm comes, it's the only thing that will keep you from being moved. And we just read it to you. And you already know when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction comes. And we just read it to you. It's Jesus Christ. He's saying it'll be just like the times of Lot. And it'll be raining, fire, and brimstone when the Son of Man is revealed. And when you go to Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 and 25, Jesus Christ says, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. The point is, stand on the rock. You're secure on the foundation in your, when your faith is in Jesus Christ. And the reason why we're sharing Jesus Christ's word is so you keep your faith in him and you stand on the foundation, Jesus Christ, the rock. The storm's coming, family. Sudden destruction's coming. It will rain fire and brimstone. And if you're not standing on the rock, Jesus Christ, when the storm comes, you will fall. And you will not be able to stand before the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that said, Pray that you're accounted worthy to stand before the Son of Man. And Jesus Christ is coming to get us, family. And in our area, the Bay Area, social media is going crazy over the sunsets. And Christina and I have been seeing them, and they're amazing. And here's a picture right here from Dublin, California. Jesus is coming, family. And here's another one. This one was taken in Oakland. And it looks like fire in the sky. And here's another one from Oakland, which is an hour and a half from where we're at right here. And there's more pictures from the Bay Area, and they're absolutely stunning. I could sit here and talk for the next 10 hours and stack up everything that's happening to prove that Jesus Christ is coming, but you already know he's coming. It's not if, it's when. And as the coronavirus spreads, and they shut down airports and schools and major events, and Costco lines are looking like this, and people are wiping out all the toilet paper, all the water. And Christina and I were there yesterday at Costco, and it was a madhouse. It took us forever just to get a parking place. And there was no toilet paper. It proves that Jesus Christ is about to be revealed and come get us. Before people stop eating and drinking and planting and building and getting married and giving in marriage. If they quarantine the whole world, no one will be eating or drinking or planting or building or getting married. And it's right here on the Times of Israel. Games without fans, weddings without guests, ban on gatherings, cramps daily life. Weddings without guests. Jesus Christ said people will be getting married when he comes. And we'll show you something else that you need to know. When you go to the TorahCalendar.com today, March 13th, Friday the 13th is the Sabbath of the Red Heifer. It just happens to be on Friday the 13th, family. And the Temple Institute and the Jewish rabbi, Azariah Ariel, he's the one in charge of the Red Heifer, just put out a video on YouTube, on the Temple Institute channel, on 311 clearing up a whole lot 
So who are you going to believe, the rumors or the person in charge of the red heifers? And here it is. This is the email that we received this morning. And it says, Red Heifer Update, Adara 5780, slash March 2020. Important update from the Temple Institute concerning the status of the red heifer candidates that the Temple Institute is raising in Israel. Their Jewish rabbi, Ariel, the head of the Institute's Kolel Research Department. Did you get that, family? He's the head of the Institute's Kolel Research Department. He is in charge. And I watched the video. And it's on YouTube. Like I said, on the Temple Institute's channel. And I put the subtitles on because it's in Hebrew. So everybody could see what Ariel is saying. And he said, we are looking at the recent photo taken of the red heifer candidates that the temple... See how big and old they are, family? It's almost time for that sacrifice. And they asked him, at what age do they need to be before the process of creating the red heifer ashes can take place? And Ariel said, with God's help, in one year from now. And remember, they just put this video out on 3.11. And today, on 313, it's the commemoration day for the red heifer. Then they asked him, does the slaughter and preparation of the ashes need to be performed in a specific location? And if so, where? And he said, The place where it needs to take place is opposite the place of the holy temple. And he said, The red heifer is not a temple offering. And therefore not slaughtered on the altar within the temple courtyard. And he said, We see here in this painting, here's the place of the Holy Temple, and here, directly opposite of the Holy Temple, is where the preparations take place. And where is that, family? You probably can guess. It's the exact same place that they just sacrificed this lamb. And this place is on the Mount of Olives. I just felt the Holy Spirit through my whole body, family. This is the truth. They don't need the temple. The sacrifice will be on the Mount of Olives. And this is coming straight from Ariel, the Jewish people's rabbi in charge of the red heifers. So they told him, thank you very much, Rabbi Azaria Ariel, head of the Temple Institute's research division. Facts, family. It's an hourly watch. Jesus Christ is coming any moment. I got the Holy Spirit all over me. He's speaking through me to you. I'm coming. 